What's up guys? It's Mad Knifer. Um this time I'm gonna bring you guys a uh some more supercross obviously on uh this time it's on uh Barsha Supercross track. It's a really fun track, it's kinda got a sandy sandy or the the track's kinda sandy or which is kinda rare for a for a supercross track, it's usually hard pack, but I don't know, I seem to ride uh I got really lucky right there, I kinda gooned out, but uh anyway, I I don't know, I seem to kinda ride the sandier tracks better on here, they're easier to control I think to me. I mean that's just me, but like I said, I my supercross is definitely my strong strong point and that's uh, you'll you'll see a lot of supercross and and plus it's it's uh it's short it, it's easier to do commentaries and stuff over them because the, the supercross tracks are they're shorter and shorter lap times and the video is not as long as if I was to do a a big national track but if you guys really want me to I will do I will do uh, videos of, of me riding on the on the uh, national tracks or whatever. Um, just, just let me know what tracks you guys want to ride. Honestly, like, I, I'll, I'll be willing to ride any track or try them out or, or anything like that. I just, it's, it's hard for me to just kind of choose a random track and do because I've ridden a lot of them and I don't know. I just, I don't want to just have to choose random ones all the time. So if you guys could give me some feedback on that, I would really appreciate it. If you guys want to put it in the comments or whatever, if you want to give me some tracks to ride, I, I know I said that in the last video, but like I said, I. I I really would like to have you guys tell me what tracks to ride and or, or, or anything like that. But anyway, this video is a little different too. I uh, I did it in uh, uh, third person instead of first. I think I think that's how it goes. I don't know. I may have those mixed up. But anyway, it's it's just the opposite of the helmet cam. Uh, the helmet cam videos I normally or the one I did from the last one was a helmet cam video. This one's the opposite of it. So I don't know if you guys would like it or not. Uh, if you do, just let me know and I'll start putting them in. Uh, like this, or if you like the helmet cam ones, I'll do that. Or if you want, I'll just do them both. But anyway, I don't want to talk about the writing or anything like that, but uh, the, the first thing was that the feedback from the last video I posted on VMG or Verb Moto Gamers was, was really good. Um, I, got, I got a lot, I uh, probably got 10 or 15 more subs, and uh, I got a lot of, I got a lot, uh, a lot, a lot more video views, and um, the likes and stuff on, on VMG for my video was, was really good. I, I, like I said, the feedback was awesome, and I really appreciate that from you guys. But the only bad comments I think I had were because I talked about uh, um, that my channel was known for Call of Duty videos, and some of the guys on there, they I don't know why they kept doing it, but they said stop posting COD, stop posting COD. I mean, it's just kind of annoying to see that even after the channel uh, owner of Verbmoto Gamers channel was even after he got on there and was like, if you guys don't like COD, then then don't go look at your channel. And honestly, that's fine. I mean, I'm not I'm not gonna force you guys to look at my channel. I'm not anything like that. I just just uh, you know, it's just one of the things that sometimes will go up my channel. Right as of right now, I'm really not playing much COD at all. I've been playing a lot of this and just kind of having fun with it. But if you guys don't want to see COD, then don't go to my channel. I mean, there is some on there, but as I just said, that there may not, there probably won't be very much. But uh, I would really appreciate it if you guys would come check out my channel though for uh, my MX Simulator vids and stuff like that. And uh, I'd really like to have some ideas for like a series or something on here. So if you guys have any ideas like that, just let me know. But um, I just go. To, I'm gonna talk about. Um, I tried to qualify for the uh, race factory nationals at Unadilla. I ended up not really even being able to put a lap in because the track was so detailed and stuff that I'm only running on a laptop, so it, I can't really run the high detail tracks and stuff. And when I went to try to qualify, I uh, there was too many people in the server and it was laggy, so I really didn't get a chance to qualify. And I was kind of struggling with the track too. It was it was a fun track. Don't get me wrong, but I just I was kind of having uh, some difficulties with it. But other than that, I. It, it was fun, but like I said, I just couldn't run it because my computer too slow, and it was a pretty high-detailed track. But um, another thing that I was talking about, just kind of, I'm going to talk about maybe the last actual Unadilla race in, in real life on TV and stuff, and how Dungey wrapped up the championship, which congrats to him. I'm, honestly, I'm not really a Dungey fan, but it, he, because he, I mean, I don't I mean, he's, he's a really fast rider, but he only seems to win the championships when everybody else is out. Like all the other fast guys, like Reed, Villapoto, and all those, it seems like he usually only wins when uh, they're out or something. I mean, he yeah, he has beat him straight up before, but like championship-wise, he only seems to have won his championships when those guys are out, which which is fine. But um, oh well. But then another, uh, I was gonna talk about the how the I'm, I ride Honda in real life, so I'm a really big Geico Honda fan and uh, American Honda. Um, I'm just gonna kind of talk about how Zach Bell did in his first, his couple debuts of um, 
at Southwick and uh, Unadilla. He, you know, he's, he's got a lot of maturity. Obviously, he got a couple whole shots, and then he ended up throwing away for a crash. But I think he has the speed to do it. So we'll just kind of see it once he matures, see how he goes. But anyway, guys, that's that's it. That's all I have for you guys today. There's the race. I think my fastest lap was like a 57.3 or something, or 51.3 or something like that. But anyway, until next time, uh, see you guys. For daily motocross pro and am coverage, be sure to log on to verbmoto.com. And if you like us, Prove it.